Go ahead. No, let me just start the set. Let's, can we, like, The buzz and John numbers! John, stop the recording. Uh, Devin, stop the recording and, like, delete that. Go. Delete it all. <laughs> nuke, the, nuke the bots. He, he, he can edit that in post. All right, so we have literal John numbers himself. Like, in the game. He's in the John video number game. John numbers IRL. I love how he plays this himself, bro. That's funny. He made himself into the game. You are the avatar. Honestly, if you're going to play this character this effectively, like, you might as well. Oh, my God, bro. He really got up smashed twice. And took 50 yes. Because of it. It's like, y'all forgot this character got to do... Everyone was so busy complaining about Olimar on Twitter. You forgot the reason that you wanted to complain. They got one of the coolest combo starters in the game. The fact that he had, like, so much damage output off of basic hit confirms. And John, here's the John, fact that he's got a big nose. John just trying to play his game right now. I feel like, though, he's been losing it. Like, I don't know if this particular zoner is going to work out too well because the buzz is keeping him at such a good range that even Reflect is not sending the Pikmin back at him. Well, it doesn't really matter that he sends the Reflects back, uh, re reflects the Pikmin back. It's that he's stopping the Pikmin from getting into his own zone. That's true. Like, see, notice how he only uses the Reflector when the Pikmin are right up against him yeah. and when DeBuzz isn't in position to throw another. Getting caught there for trying to get the Pikmin out right there. All right, no, he's going to make it back. I like that. I, I, I want him to see. I want to see him use the Chakrams more at, uh, at mid-range. I feel like they're a really good projectile for checking someone's dash in or run in. He's been keeping it pretty even so far. They're not as good against Olimar, just because like he can just go in and do this. He can just grab as soon as he sees wow. a wayward projectile. He used the blue for that one, right? Yeah. yeah. Blue and young Sumo Sami. That's right. He's parries by the boys. There we go. Oh, he didn't actually follow that up with anything. He just got 35. See, every time I watch the buzz play, like, I... Oh, my God, he got reflected him. purple. Got him. He has a gun. <laughs> like, I want to see DeBuzz play in a way that justifies the way that people complain about Olimar. Like, give me a reason to see what they see. Do the thing. These two are pretty much just playing a, a projectile game right now, trying to see who can get through to, to who first. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, John, John's move usage has been perfect for, like, taking out the Pikmin, though. He's, like, known the right hitbox to throw out for each and every Pikmin. Well, one thing that's important to note is that the Pikmin can latch themselves onto, like, three designated areas for each character. And John seems to recognize as soon as, like, he sees where the Pikmin are, he'll do something. Like, notice the Pikmin that attach themselves to the front of his head? He just up airs on instinct. And he'll move a little forward towards the buzz so he can occupy any jump in space. But even if he doesn't hit the buzz with the up air, he's still killing that Pikmin. He's being super smart about the, the Pikmin counterplay themselves. And I feel like that's why John's keeping a somewhat even match. I only say somewhat because you can only stop the damage from Pikmin for so long. Yeah, the thing is, it's a slow bleed. Like, he, he's been taking consistent damage at the time. He's been keeping it even with the buzz and getting a few hits in to make it count. So it's not like he's completely down. But I, I oh, that's, that could have been a big punish right there for the buzz. Oh, there's yeah, your there big punish. Is, yeah. now, now it becomes harder for John to play the, the zoning game against the buzz. Because now he's, he's at a stock disadvantage, therefore he's got to start approaching, he's got to start doing more. Because the, bu the buzz will win the slow game. That being said, Where's though, your slow game? Evening it up right there. Keep him off the stage. He's got nowhere to set up. Like, John has just had such a concise idea of how to fight against Olimar. Like, it's looking so good for him. I, like, he's, he's not been getting overzealous with any of his punishes whatsoever. He, no, been, not at all. He's been keeping, like, a really good distance. Like Both it, of these players are they are doing a very good job of making sure they don't get greedy with any of their extensions. And he, he's forcing the Buzz to have to also check his own Pikmin. Like, if, if he gets the Reflect and it latches on to, to Olimar himself, that's crazy, bro. How your own turn on you. Hate to see it. So easily. But I mean, you whistle <laughs> and they, like, come back. All it takes is a little bit of a rainbow, I guess. Burp, burp. Ooh, trying to get the Reflect right in front. I wasn't sure if... What he might have been expecting run-up up smash. Maybe. Because then if he reflected it, that Pikmin would just dove right into DeBuzz's helmet. Possibly. That's still a hell of a call out, though. Yeah, for real. It's, it's a brazen move, especially once you're nearing kill percent. I like the little hover there with the tornado. Yeah, DeBuzz has just been playing the slow game. If he keeps playing like this, like John will be forced to approach, and the amount of errors off his inputs are going to increase. All right, they're having with the ledge. 
Plus also just respecting uh, the tornado, not trying to fall for it because he knows he'll be giving up stage control immediately as he gets hit by that. I feel like the Buzz has just done a very good job of recognizing as soon as he gets to move in on John, it's time to do grabs. Like, we've seen a ton of grab play out of the uh, Buzz. Although now with, with purple, he should be fine. Oh my god. That was, that was close. That was super <laughs> close. Oof, the poke's not working. Idea. The Buzz is just shielding through all of it. Okay. As I say that though, okay, this is John's chance now to really encroach. That was a terrible angle. I'm actually really surprised that didn't do anything more substantial to it than us. Wonder okay, this this might be kill percent, I think, actually, for numbers. If he gets one I good mean, tornado off of the buzz's get up, that's it. It's really just a matter of like how well can John keep the patients up. Which like we know he can. It's it's John. Oh, I don't I feel like he could have just stayed at ledge and trapped him. It doesn't matter though, still getting it back. Hit nail and shock <laughs> That was kinda too. cute. Oh, he didn't want to check too deep. Oh, he but that died. was a really rare miss input for the buzz. What did he do? Did he swing? Off he, of it or? he like positioned himself out to avoid the buzz and he just missed the ledge. Like watch him. So he sees the back air and I was like, all right, I'll avoid. Go for the forward oh, air and he just wow. literally just doesn't he probably grab held, He held down. He no, held down. That's the, the move did not finish. Oh, really? He, he was still in the... Uh, the end lag of Foden. Because oh, Foden, you got to put that Pikmin before away. Before he goes into free fall, he actually has to turn yeah. his entire body. Yeah, he's got to finish the move crazy, before he goes bro. into the... So he was completely unable to grab ledge. Correct. Wow. Bit of a bad call on DeBuzz to even swing there because John wasn't there. But nonetheless, John takes game one. This song is lit. What is this song? I have not heard this song on the stage before. Probably because I'm always playing Zinnia's theme. But the Pokemon stages have such good music they and there's do, so man. many tracks. It's like... Uh, it's like when you... I don't Isn't this remember. like Hall of Fame when you enter it or whatever? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the Hall of Fame theme. Uh, anyway, getting back into it, we're gonna see. It's a bit quicker of a start to game two. I think the buzz. Yeah, the buzz is definitely. He's like, all right, I'm fed up. I played your game for long enough, bro. I'm, I'm gonna start getting ignored on y'all. The buzz might be the quietest goon of New York, but he's still a certifiable Heat. goon. He's gone. Goodbye. The Blue truest of Heats. Blue Pikmin is swole AF. Yeah, he's like, all right. I'll I'll, I'll take this one away from you. They grab right for the center mass. They know exactly how to just chuck you out. All the other Pikmin, they're learning still. Except for White. White Pikmin's trying. And getting a very nice pull there from uh, DeBuzz. He actually managed to pull a purple on his first one. It, it's cyclic, right? It cycles through. Yes. It's always the, the Red, same yellow, order blue, time. purple, yeah. white. Or white, purple. So there you go. Uh, you know, just the, the luck of the draw, I guess, right there. And that he had to pull a purple Pikmin right there. Because it, it's been working from this game. I think, I think the... Oh, buddy! I definitely think the approach to Buzz is taking this game has been paying a lot more dividends. I think a faster approach on the game is throwing numbers off quite a bit. I mean, John can adjust. Believe it or not, this is like, he is still playing slightly more aggressive than we usually see of him. Yeah, absolutely. He has to, man. He's at a, he's a, he's a deficit. Wow, and then Chakram sniping him right off stage. Good throw. Fun fact, Chakram's one of my favorite projectiles in this game. It's crazy, dude. It's a good projectile. It's got great angles. It has super good utility from a far or medium distance. It's probably the coolest part of this character's kit. Yeah, I'd say so too. Mind crazy. you, that's not saying much for yeah, Soul Fighter. Saying. But like, hey, <laughs> I'm, putting, I'm putting credit on the, on the name. <laughs> You're putting some respect on his name. Got him. Oh. He was facing the other direction. Hold up. But it's, I can't defend that. That, just, that was, that was it, something. The bus head, I'm scripted to a too. <laughs> Sit down, numbers. This is cute. Your little plot armor took you this far, man. But, uh, all right, though. Getting the initial damage right there. He's already lapped on a percent once again. Now, yeah, now he... I feel like this is the worst place for, for Swordfighter to be in is the corner. Like... Swordfighter has great poking tools, but if the buzz just plays at a certain range, I feel like there's really not much he can do. All right, he's got his lone purple Pikmin. We've seen the buzz in this situation plenty of times, but... John does a great job of taking advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Swing like an he animal. Gone. He gone. Swung. That's Swing. crazy. All right. That was probably the most barbaric game of, of Ultimate I've seen from the Buzz. That was something. He really came through and was like, catch the mesh. My man caught hands immediately. Now, now I hear what you're saying about it being hot in here. 
Oh, yeah. The, so, sweating, bro. <laughs> for those not aware here at uh, We're in a box, bro. Atlas, we are in a soundproof box. We're in a box. We're allowed to be as loud as we want. We got packed in. Yeah, we could, we could yell anything. We really could. Yell anything. We could say that uh, Vinny was right. Vinny was right about the New York PR and House of 3000. Oh, no. No one will be able to hear our conspiracy theories, bro. Except for Devin. But Devin, Devin well, it's, it's a secret with you, me, and the audience. That's right. As long as you, the viewer at home, doesn't right, tell kids. anyone else. Tell no one. Because there's only you. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Back at it in the set. And the uh, buzz is still angry. The purple off the bat has been like proving to be the buzz's greatest tool. As it's been racking up so much damage on numbers that he really is just not able to rack. It, he's getting it's like getting punched by Mike Ty Tyson like not once but twice within the span of two seconds. It's it's the notion that like early on in Ultimate we learned that how strong of a character Olimar is, and we learned how important it was for those Olimar mains to be aware of their rotation and micromanage their pick lane because like. We've seen purple needs to be live almost exclusively in this matchup. Like, you need to have at least one purple. And we've seen that whenever DeBuzz is down to his last Pikmin, it's almost always a purple. Otherwise, he's just getting beaten by Numbers. Numbers has been doing a much better job of not getting too shook when, uh, when DeBuzz has the early on. I was excellent. I was Nair to up tilt. That was clean. One of the rare times I see Olimar doing just all the work by, by himself. Omar must feel so distraught after every victory. Bro. He is ab he's absolutely like he's depressed. Seen so much. If you've played the Pikmin games and read any of the in-game descriptions, Mance has been through too much. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Boy, like, it's, it's a rough life for my man out here. Now, now he's he gets completely crapped on by the the majority of the Smash Bros. fan base as well. You mean, like, I'm sure he's like shell shocked enough that like to him like Twitter is just like another bull board. <laughs> yeah. It's just like I'll, I'll stick twenty of my boys on you and you're nothing. <laughs> you're food. I feel nothing anymore. <laughs> the rising whistle, I think, is actually super smart from the buzz. It, it, does it still like tank through stuff? Like, well, yeah, you still get work? a couple of frames to, to eat something. Right. Oh my god, numbers actually just killed all the Pikmin and just the Pikmin. One, one army of one, bro. He's an army of one. All right, reading the, the roll in right there. I gotta say, John's reaction time and awareness, like this entire set, has been immaculate. Like he's been calling out the buzz on every single thing he's doing, and I don't think he's missed a single one. <laughs> He's just shiving the little Dude, He's done. Put, get him in the alleyway, bro. They're done. This is so rude. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a good time to remind the viewers at home that this is the best of five sets. That's right. So, so like, strap in, grab your popcorn. Yeah, this get is the only the one, one count, folks. You know, we're still on three stocks apiece. Like, these guys have been holding their stocks. And that, like, I would. I want both these guys making my Wall Street investments, bro. They're holding stocks right now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I don't know how long uh, DeBuzz is going to be allowed to hold on to these. Does Sword Fighter have a kill throw? I, no, I really don't think no? so. Maybe up Maybe throw. Up like throw obscene or... percentages, but like... Not down throw, not back throw for sure. But like, I feel like it's okay that I don't know that off the top of my head. <laughs> it's, it's Sword Fighter, bro. How many are you going to see, though? Like, <laughs> we, we actually see a decent amount of them in New York. And like, relatively speaking, I feel like the characters... What other ones are there? There's a... Uh, at least in New York, I know we've got Paper Chow. Mm -hmm. The Paper Chow played Brawler. He plays all of them. Oh, okay, cool. And I know there's another guy who plays all of them. Mm. But, like, Numbers is easily the most notable. Yeah, he's probably the best. He's easily the best. He's also been playing Sword Fighter since, like, release. Yeah, he's been... He played Sword Fighter alongside Inkling. Inkling, yeah. And even though Inkling is back on the bench until further notice to the return of Wii Fit, like, Sword Fighter's tried and true and has a very valid spot. That recovery is really nice. My man has not gotten snubbed on his recovery like one time. That move is insane. Down, oh, down air has my always favorite been move his best move. The, my favorite move in the kit by far. That's the blender. Mm -hmm. Like everyone always says it's the up that's a blender. But no, like actually you get hit by that down air, you're getting sent down, you're eating tons of damage, you're in hit stun. Like crazy. It's, it's such a filthy move. I, I, I like that soccer I said this game. He's like, all right. I'll give you three some love. Just, just don't change sizes, okay? <laughs> just don't get any smaller, please. Like I'm glad we can see the Mies in there. They're multiple different kits because they're not they're not super polarizing. I feel like there's still people out there who don't like them. Yeah, but that's just because they don't know how to adapt. 
definitely see people getting like goofed on by <laughs> all the memes. <laughs> Tri-State has like valid we gotta, players. We, for we have all the of these weirdest things. characters, bro. I swear to God. But like we have a rep for each of the memes. Yeah. We got Proton for Gunner. We oh, got hold Mavis up. For Sword Fighter. That's the classic. We got Paper Chow for Brawler. Oh, I do Waidu for Brawler. We got to Waidu, bro. Sorry about that. Sorry, Waidu. Did he really taunt? Why? Did he really Why taunt? He like numbers? Did he really do it? I Is mean, he, he really did. about to do it to him, bro. John playing hella confident right now. Like neither neither of these two players are really overextending or overexhausting. It's just been a war of attrition the, the entire way through. Yeah, I wouldn't say anything about overexhausting. This is definitely gotta be a grueling match for yeah. both. I know numbers is like he's chilling. He'll joke about like a set like this where it's a it's a long kind of war. He's used to this, bro. But I know like this takes a toll on like even someone like DeBuzz. World renowned for his patience and Your chops are truly tested throughout like a matchup like this. That being said though, nothing's gonna happen. You. <laughs> Yo, Yellow Pikmin really got to carry his weight. That's the second time Numbers has gotten hit at some obscene percentage, and, Ugh. like, nothing happened. I think, what what percent does uh, Tornado... Okay, Tornado might kill here now. I think it's the fact that he's getting sent up too high, and Numbers doesn't want to commit to that kind of... A oh, oh, my God. Hold I thought on. we were about to see something crazy. I really thought the single-hit Chakram... That, right. that would have been genius. Although the buzz has blue, blue and purple alone make this lineup terrifying. They're on deck. All right, blue's gone though. No, but blue's the next one up. Oh, that's true. As long as the buzz is able to threaten with both a solid hit and a grab, he is in fine position. Ooh, but got caught his initial yep. dash just a bit. <laughs> They're both like, smiling. Uh, How, you should be terrified if I you would see not both. Be smiling, bro. Both of these guys are smiling. They're having fun. That's the thing. Can we can we put that in perspective that they're actually enjoying themselves right now? I mean, Grand Scheme of Things push, is a good set. Push one right now in the chat if you're enjoying yourself. Like, honestly, who would look at this push one. lineup and expect to have such an entertaining set? P push two if you feel deep existential dread right now. Uh, <laughs> let me get those young twos in the chat. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, insane. so here we are for game four. Uh, DeBuzz sitting the set count upwards. Back at it again at Stadium 2. I really don't see this setting changing for any No, reason, I, I feel like it just it doesn't matter. That's the thing. Both like This stage is good for both of these characters. I mean, both of these guys have proved that they can win games on this stage. Also, like, laterally speaking, I don't see any reason for you to want to go to another no, stage. Like, they're not. covering so much space so well. Ooh, like, what that, have the bands been? I, feel, I haven't even been looking at the bands. I think they've just been gentlemen. I think, yeah, I think they've just been running it back. There, there is, uh, I believe there's no DSR here. Or no, there is DSR here, I believe. No DSR in the collision, we'll say. Oh, okay. Got it. I got it. Ooh, good check from the buzz. Oh, there wow. we go, but a good check from numbers, keeping him alive. He, well, he's eating the damage. Not losing the stock. Yet. Barely living. Sword oh. fighter, decently heavy. Yeah, if I remember the correctly, hell? they're like... That man's all skin. Numbers is all skin and bones. What do you mean? They're like the heavier end of midweight. It's crazy. All right, blue is on deck. Grab. Not going to get it, though. Numbers just being able to barely evade that. You know, we've seen this multiple times now where Numbers gets himself to some exceedingly high percentage, and he's safe because of it. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's, it's honestly bananas. Like, the buzz doesn't have anything to, like, confirm his kills. He just needs to swing. Yeah, he needs to swing. <laughs> Which, swing, my child. To be fair, to That's he's doing a good job. Do. Yeah, he's doing a great job swinging. <laughs> Numbers just keeping him guessing, <laughs> he's man. Just he's rotating. rotating, bro. He's rotating through the whole kit. He's holding his ground really, really well, though. Oh, well, long-time viewers would, would be aware that Numbers is no stranger to the style of play. Like, he'll <laughs> just do it. Like, to the common man, this is a, like, Herculean task. For Numbers, this is every Wednesday. Numbers is also playing a Live, right? shooting yeah, game as well. All right, though, down smash right there. Going to wrap up that stock for John. And now the Buzz has the opportunity to get another early. If he just gets one up smash, it's, it's going to lead him into a whole bunch. All right, here we go. Down throw forward air is not in position to get himself any more off of that. If he, if he holds the corner pretty well, though, he's just wait, he's waiting for John to, to pull that over commitment off the ledge. All right, all right, see you later, Purple Pigment. <laughs> they gone. The yellow. I love the idea of Yellow Pikmin as an early to mid like 
combo piece He's because the of the hit stun. That's something that I know a few other uh, Olimar players have been integrating lately. Wow. That's a really good recovery by DeBuzz right there. Just cycling ever so above and baiting numbers in to kind of get off the stage. There's so many decisions you have to make with... Uh, with Olar before you get to have fun and swing for the fences. I feel like the, with both these characters, the micromanagement has to be like ridiculous. Less so with with uh, probably Sword Fighter because you just throw your thing out and it's done. But with like Olimar, you got to manage your Pikmin. You got to make sure like you have the right one for the right scenario. You got to be using them correctly in the certain like the situation you need them. That being <laughs> said, the man's gonna run up on him. I was just about to say like as long as you can like think a little bit ahead. I feel like the micromanagement aspect isn't too heavy. It's like, it, it's, it, it exists. It absolutely exists, but it's not like, all right, well, when I'm in my second rotation, my, I have to get rid of this red right away. It's like, you know you're going to be able to slap the hell out of someone with red. And I, I don't see DeBuzz dropping this in, in any, any sense of the metric. Like, every stock has been this long, drawn-out thing, and if DeBuzz just keeps playing the way he is, he's going to be securing himself a, a spot winner's finals here at Open Source Smash. Oh, wow, he grabbed him out of the tornado. That's crazy numbers, I guess, not knowing. The no, yeah, we've seen that a couple of times now. Every time it becomes that close-range battle, the projectiles are almost irrelevant because that's where DeBuzz starts to go for his grabs. He's been using yellow and blue really well for that matter. Like Tornado kills Pikmin like, instantly. It's wild. And Chakram, too, actually. Look at that. He just cleaves through the whole thing. Yeah, I feel man. like if he starts using that a little bit more liberally, he'll probably be able to, to clear a path of himself. Oh... Okay, now he's on the blue, so one one grab. And Gavum. That'll be the set. Ugh, I, there's like filthy Stark hair noise. Yeah. What, what's he was like a <laughs> <laughs> But the hey. Buzz, the buzz showing the resolve and, and, and determination to really make his way through that set. That was a, a gauntlet. That was a grueling, grueling, long drawn out. That set. was. That's where your true abilities, I think, as a player are just tested. That's nice. That's nice. That's, that's you know, of all things that could have been, I feel like there's a, at least, like, a lot to pick at. Yeah. Because, like, at least in my opinion, you don't have to be a fan of zoning mm -hmm. or even, like, like calmer play styles like that. But if you're going to complain, understand what you're complaining about. Like, 